going on YouTube? Thought I'd do a little update on the brown recluse. Resprayed the entire car. Get it even as a little stripe. It was, you know, stripes. So, I sprayed the entire car back over. Seems to be all even now because it's a very, very heavy metallic. <clears throat> so now it seems to be a lot even, a lot more even. If you can see all the metallic, it's a lot of gold, which that had. When I was spraying, you know, just doing like half a panel, you would leave a line and you, you would come back do another panel and it'd be a hard line. It'd be a whole bunch of gold clustered up. Or whenever you came across, you, know, you just spray and you would see gold clustered up. So it'd be an evenly. So I had to walk it like a candy paint from one edge all the way to the other and back and forth and back and forth. But I start from the bottom, work my way up to the top, go across and come from the top down to the bottom. But like I said, a lot more even, a lot more richer. It's a lot darker, which I'm happy with because this is definitely the shade I wanted it. it. was more chocolate than the bronze, which it now has that. You see how reflective it is. And I said, this is just straight out the gun. Straight out the gun. Very reflective. I see it. Coats a whole bunch of more even. I see I love the tone that it is now. One thing I gotta do now is look at it in the sun a little bit. Make sure that everything came out how I wanted it and be good to go for right now. I gotta finish the hood. Of course, you know me, I got a couple runs here and there. Be glad when I get them damn heaters to actually work and wired up and everything, but for some reason they won't cut on. Have my electrician come look at that so I can get more control space in here. But everything is done. I ain't had no tape mishaps where I pull some tape off and rip some paint off. So I call that lucky. Like I said, paint's very reflective. Well, the clear. Paint ain't clear, shit. I said it's a beautiful color. And I said this time around, cause I didn't notice it at first, but I put the, the top, uh, what you call these, corner markers, whatever you wanna call them. I put these on this time when I sprayed it. That way these would be even. Like I was saying though, it don't make no sense to have the quarter and trunk to match and not this top uh, corner marker, whatever you want to call it. Bumper corner, whatever. Anyway, but like I said, I wanted all three of those to match because they're at the top. Bumper fillers as much, I really don't give a fuck. Only because you're only going to see a little bit of the edge and the bumper is going to be covering most of it anyway. So... I didn't care about putting the bumper fillers on. Uh, also didn't really care about the mirrors neither. Which, I don't know. I got plenty of paint, paint left over. So if need to be, I can, uh, you know, come back and do it. I gotta re-clear them, I gotta overspray on them. That ain't no big deal. You know, saying this little runs up. Still glass though, even with overspray on it. But that's not it. Ooh, look, a spot missed. Anyway, <laughs> but I'm being pretty close. Nah, they ain't that close. We'll see. I'll think about it. I really don't care. All I care about is the main items. Said all the bumper fillers really don't care. They'll be here. Uh, these pieces, I think most people put these pieces black. You got heavy overspray on them. 
But, see, most people, I think, put these black. I'm not sure, anyway. And, uh... This piece, the uh, tail, I mean, license plate pocket. Man, I definitely should have covered all this shit up. It's got a lot of, a lot of overspray on it. Spraying the hell out of that clear this time. But, everything is done. Let's see, you can see near finish. Uh, Came out very nice this time. Yeah, it was nice the first time, but it was not even when I brought it outside. So everything's done except for this fucking hood. Uncooperative. Uh, having a little problem with the uh, casting or whatever you want to call it. Whenever you know they pour a fiberglass hood and it being super wavy, but you really don't notice it until you know you get up on it or look straight down it. When you look straight down it, you could see the waves and ripples that go down the fiberglass hood. They haven't you know done it right, so I'm having a problems with this primer. Whenever I went to block it everywhere, it created low spots whenever I went to sand it. So these low spots are either gonna have to be refilled with primer or something. Cause that's me trying to fill them and then sand them. I would sand them and this ain't nothing but glazing putty. So this is not body filler, it's glazing putty. But once I do that, by the time I block on it, I get to the point where in some spots it's um, starting to pull the primer and the fiberglass hairs back out. So I'm probably about to get to a point to where I just say, forget it, get the DA, run over everything till it's smooth and call it one for now. I'll buy a real cow induction steel hood in the future, but I just need to finish this hood, spray it, shoot it. And then I'll, uh, might spray a coat or two on those mirrors, maybe that pocket cause it's with the trunk and, uh, that would be it. Oh, and the little, it's a little strip that goes along the back of the bumper. In the back, I keep forgetting. But I get that too. Like I said, them is slight things I'm not really worried about. But definitely I'm happy with the results. If I was in a booth and I ain't had no dirt nibs, we would rock it like this. Wouldn't even cut it or, you know, cut it or buff it. But we got dirt and trash, a couple of runs. Runs don't show nothing but me spraying it heavy as fuck. But like I said, definitely towards the finish line. I'm gonna get some plates for it. Put it in traffic a little bit this week without no hood. I really don't care. Try to get the bumpers on at least. Or I might not put the bumpers on. Still might just pull it in traffic with no bumpers. Just a few corners. I need to get the rear end short and steel and interior and that'll be it for now i want a pro charger or something uh, that's later down the line probably this winter i got the kit and everything i'll probably put vintage hair in it in the winter change my uh front pulley set up to a double alternator put the ac on the uh, passenger side Probably change that because that's going to be in the way the transmission dipstick. Let's see, bring that plate, cut it open in the middle, bring it out. Uh, we already got music for it, it's covered up. That's the only thing that did get covered up. Like I said, I got the music and everything to put in it. Gotta get the interior speakers, but that ain't nothing but a click away. Um, I said rear end shortened mini tub. I get that done at the same time. And like I said, it should be very streetable very soon. So got plenty of time to enjoy it in the summer. So that's what we'll be doing. 
And don't know, let nobody fool you and say you need the most top quality gun ever. It's just some old knockoff. Some knockoff shit. <laughs> I don't use that expensive seven, eight, nine hundred dollar guns. If you know the technique, if you know your technique and stuff, that's all you need is a gun that sprays good and it uh, optimize or autonomize your uh, paint real good. If you can get one that does that, doesn't clog up real good, can handle your flakes or your pearls, you know, your heavy metallics, then keep it. I said I don't do nothing, run a little moisture filter regulator. That's it. Just a little base compressor over there. Like I said, that's what I shot my clear with. And this is some, I think this is an old Walmart gun. Don't get me mistaken though. This is what I shot my uh, base with. Shot the best, didn't clog up. It recommended a one four tip. Only thing I recommend is you clear it between, uh, you know, between your weight time and your coats. I do need to get a new base one with a one four tip because this one keeps screwing out. Got the light on the front, you know, check your shit in the dark, check your metallics. So whatever you're spraying, you know, boom, you can see. If you steal my idea, just make sure you know, you mention, you mention me. But like I said, that's all I get. Well, that's all I use. Like I said, won't never, well, I can't say never, unless it's used. But I will never spend no money on no high dollar paint gun when I can get the same results. You can get these results with a cheap, well, not a cheap, cheap gun, not a Harbor Freight. But I say I would never spend more than 150 on a paint gun. Just my opinion. When you can get all your results out of that, results like this, I think it's always in the technique in the user. But that'll be it for this video. It'll be a two part video, pretty long. But I figure, why not?